every once in a while when I'm at home, yeah. sitting on the toilet, yeah, 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 yeah. brushing my teeth. Got it, got it, got it. I listen to the radio and I get inspired. Yeah, yeah. One song moves my spirit so much that I'd like to have it performed for you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you like it. I don't know what y'all heard. I don't know. Well, what y'all heard about me? My name is Kamal Simonette Dixon. Sit back and enjoy the show. I love Massa more than I love myself. Both you niggas need to hush for Massa hear all this racket. You know he don't like us yapping in the field. He say Negro spit make the crop grow slow. Use a damn lie. Massa love Negro spit. My Negro spit make Massa crop grow fast. Every now and then. Look at you. You a fool. <laughs> I was telling the truth, because Massa told me Black meat make a white boy go ski. Can you know Massa never said no thing like that? Don't say those lies about my Massa. Yo, Massa. Massa, my Massa. Massa, my Massa. No, Massa, my Massa. Massa, my Massa. Massa, Jenkins, I sure is glad to see you. Boy, what I tell you about talking over the crop? I tried to tell him it's Cecil Bizzle arguing over who Massa owes. Use a lie, Jack Rabbit. Cecil, go on over there, yonder boy, and get ready for your whooping. I was about to show you who's the master. Show up. Who's the mean? Show love. Who's the baddest mofo low down around this town? Show love. And cut. Great work, guys. Really great. Our camera guy got some quality footage. I mean, it really looks like a slave plantation. It's totally awesome. OK, OK. Um, so do you homies? I mean, uh, uh dogs? Uh, OK, OK. Um, we're going to take a 15-minute break. So uh, go ahead and get your eat on, homies. 
Yo, if my agent sends me out on another one of these step and fetch it flicks, I'm calling up Al Sharp. At least you didn't have to say, black meat make a white boy skeet. Skeet? Somehow, I don't think slaves was up on the latest mile. Let's mix a little John Eastside boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe my agent actually told me this film was the next route. The next route? Maybe this movie's called Porch Monkey's Revenge, okay? I've seen better films in blackface. Hey, brother. You ain't said much what you think about all this. I've got nothing to say about my massa. <laughs> now, you niggas need to hush for y'all get us all rich. So, uh, ooh. Um, look, bro, I, I believe in method acting as much as the next man, but don't you think what you're doing is a little extra? I mean, bro, you could, you could let go of the character now, man. We're trying to have a real discussion here. I just don't I know just... nothing about letting go no karate. All I know is it's my muscle. Now, you niggas the hush. Is this Sambo for real? <laughs> I think so. Hey, black man, what is your name? I just ain't no black man. I nigga. Now, you know my name, dark ass Jack Rabbit. <laughs> Listen here, Wabbit. Uh, you are a black man, a mm -hmm. descendant of Africa. You need to cut out the Uncle Tom crap. Africa? Them nipples come. The women's breasts just hang so low that they plow the fields when the nipples get hard. Don't talk about no Africa, dog ass. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Master Jenkins, I'm so sorry. Them nipples was the ones, they's the ones talking. Don't beat me, Master. Don't beat me. <laughs> hey, what's going on here, guys? Is this some kind of joke? Uh, no, no joke, Master Jenkins. Seems that, uh, Jackrabbit here is a bona fide slave. Wow. <laughs> uh, I just want to let you guys know I'm nothing like that character I play. I mean, I, I don't even know why they cast me. <laughs> and let me tell you, if I was a slave master, I'd be a whole lot nicer than Master Jenkins. Ain't no such thing as a nice slave master. Oh, wait, wait, I, I didn't mean it. I, How I mean... else could you have meant it? You believe it's possible for a white man to be nice even after he's denied a black man his freedom. Well, yes. No. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> no. no. lost no. your minds. Talking to Massa like yours is sweet. Massa going to tear your hair. Listen here, you driving Miss Daisy Cuba getting uh, Junior uh, Colin Powell. Yeah. What the? You know, this white boy you're worshiping is not your master. You're just some corny little white boy from Idaho. In Nebraska. Same thing. You need to wisen up, Black. Mm -hmm. It's the 21st century, all right? That's right. There's no more following the white... Oh, that white girl got a nice booty. Oh, you are not lying. Oh. Massa, Jacobs, them niggas upset you. You just looking kind of pale. Oh, Massa, is we sick? <laughs> Massa, is we sick? Times haven't changed much, have they? <laughs> no. No, they haven't. <laughs> I'm a black man with a good job, a loving family, a big house in the suburbs, and an all-around promising African-American future. But every once in a while, I get that urge to be a, oh, you know, be a nigger. That's why I use niggerette. When I get those nigger cravings after, say, watching a music video on BET or after adding water to my cereal when there's only a spoonful of milk, I just pop in a niggerette and within just a few seconds, I'm speaking properly, I'm taking care of all my kids, I'm flushing all my narcotics down the toilet, even when there isn't a cop in sight. Here's how it works. Niggerette attacks a chemical in the black male's brain called ghetto, also known as the hood. Once those hood chemicals have been Rodney Kinged, Amadou Diallo'd, and locked up till they become Muslim, the black male's brain is able to function free of all niggerish qualities. I can't lie. I've been a nigger for the majority of my life. First, I thought it was cool, you know? All my friends were doing it. I figured a little bit of nigger never hurt nobody. It wasn't like I was going to get addicted. Well, I was wrong. Because after 12 baby mamas, and over a thousand attempts at a rap career, I soon realized I was a full-blown nigger. Jerry Curl and Shower Cap to match. But now, thanks to Niggerette, my nigger days are numbered. And for a real tough craving, I take four or five and smoke a split. And I'm never concerned about the taste. Niggerette comes in assorted flavors specifically designed for the recovering nigger's needs. There's chicken-flavored Niggerette, watermelon Niggerette, Kool-Aid Niggerette, ghetto Chinese food Niggerette, Hey, 
I've been a nigger too long to just go cold turkey. The niggerette helps me beat that nigger addiction one craving at a time. Niggerette does not work for niggers over 50 still living at their mama's house. Side effects may include loss of rhythm, corny behavior, and a desire to be white. If any of these symptoms occur, read the autobiography of Malcolm X, eat a plate of soul food, and listen to some John Coltrane. Niggerette helps keep the nigger away. Yeah. Video hoes are now on strike. Yeah.